top five revolvers, guys. And this list isn't just the lightest, smallest pocket bugs. We're talking primary carry revolvers, some unique stuff you're going to want to take a look at in case you're a revolver lover. And or if, unfortunately, a magazine ban happens, I think people are going to start looking at revolvers and give them their due. So here we go at number five, bringing you the AL 3.1. Greetings and salutations, friends. What I'm bringing to you today is the new Rock Island Imported 3.1, this beautiful, stainless, hefty, substantial 357 Magnum. It is uh, made in the Czech Republic by Alpha Proj. It's beautiful stainless. This is a 30 ounce, approximately six shot 357 Magnum. Of course, takes 38 specials as well. Push button release, six shot cylinder. And now what I want you to notice is they're beautifully recessed. You just don't see that on revolvers that are mass produced nowadays. Beautifully recessed cylinders. It's a great looking gun. Rotates left like a Smith & Wesson or a Ruger. The single action is beautiful for a gun just out of the box. Really beautiful single action. The double action is about, you know, typical what you'd expect. This is a, a snubby, so this pug noses, you know, basic snubby sight type gutter sights. The grip feels a lot better in my hand than I had expected. It feels like a solid piece. Basically, it feels like a Ruger SP-101, but it's six shots. And so this really kind of fills a niche between five shot revolvers, six shot revolvers, and weight wise, because most six shot revolvers are about 34 and a half to 36 ounces. But if it's your primary carry, I, I certainly prefer six shots, a 357 Magnum over five shots, a 357 Magnum over five shots, a 38, right? So, um, all right. Not bad, not bad, I got them. And yeah, the recoil was, was fine, the recoil. All right, there we go. If I can do that with a two inch snubby 357 Magnum, which. Oh, hey, what's up guys, can I help you? What's up guys? Back up! Back up! If you noticed, I think I short stroked the trigger for the very first time. That's the very first time I shot it. One handed, very first time I shot it. Offside, one handed. Um, but it's, it's the first, I think I got caught, hung up there a little bit. I did short stroke, stroke the trigger a little bit, so something to be aware of. Hasn't happened the whole rest of the time doing a two handed fight. Jesus, I gotta shoot better groups one handed than I do trying to shoot groups. This is if I was shooting groups, one-handed. Five shots, right? All right, CQB stuff, CQC, something a revolver's great at, doesn't go out of battery, up close and personal. Sorry, man, I'll buy you a beer, I don't want to trouble. I don't want to trouble. Back up! I don't want to trouble, man. Back up! I don't want to trouble. Okay, those three yards with magnums. One, two, three, four, five, six. So all upper thoracic and a fist hold three yards where you're most likely to need something like a snubby revolver. Overall thoughts, guys, it seems to be built like a tank. It has tight tolerances, tight cylinders, nice, beautiful um, shape cylinders to get the uh, rounds in. Uh, it was recoil great, a grip I liked a lot better than I thought I would. And uh, seems to be very good defensive piece. Uh, firstly, I'm liking it better than I thought I would, and uh, I think I would like a three inch barrel with adjustable sights even better, but this kind of fits the right need for someone that likes a snubby, wants a beautiful snubby, uh, wants something that you can hand over to other people to shoot, and they can actually handle more, graduating the up and heavier loads. 
because it really does. It's in a very neat spot where other revolvers are usually like under 20 ounces, which is crazy, 25 ounces, or like 36 to 38 ounces. So 30 ounces, kind of an interesting place for 357 Magnum. Uh, obviously, it fired all kinds of different am, uh, ammo today without a problem. It's beautiful. And uh, overall, I'm impressed with the Rock Island imports of the Alpha Proj 3.1. And coming in at number four is the Taurus 856 Defender. I'm not a huge fan of 38 Special, ballistically speaking, in two inch or less snub barrels, but three inch is an entirely different story. So if you're someone that doesn't want to handle the recoil, a 357 Magnum, three inch balance, you got sight radius, and these come with a bright orange Ameriglow front sight. This version here, the VZ, is 25 ounces so you could handle some hot 38 special plus p like underwood 125 grain or buffalo bore 158 grain uh, lead hollow point so those would scream out of these and do really really well there's also the ultralight version that weighs just 17 ounces if you want easy carry but then you might want to use lighter loads depending on your recoil control anyway it's a high quality revolver taurus now makes a lot of stuff in a huge factory in georgia their qc's improved dramatically over the last three years uh, and this is a really great option in 38 Special that people tend to overlook. With that extra inch of barrel, with the plus P, you get quite a bit more uh, velocity. And this is six shots, not five. And that could be what's needed to save the day. So let's look at the Taurus 856 Defender. At number three is the Ruger SP-101, 25 to 27 ounces. I would take this 3-inch 357 Magnum for primary carry, or if it needs dual duty, possibly in a pocket, the 2 and a quarter inch 357 or 9 millimeters option. They can also get a 6-shot in 327, though ammo is sometimes difficult to find and expensive. Up, Ruger SP-101, but these things are tanks. As you can see here, the typical 357 Magnum with a two and a quarter inch barrel, that's the most typical one you'll see. Oh, neither was that bad. And I really couldn't tell a difference. Because let me tell you, with my bigger revolver with the wood grips, 158 really hurt my thumb. Thought I would. Wow, not having a problem with the recoil at all. See, I've never shot this with really hot ammo before, and I'm just amazed. I'm going to do a cylinder dump at four yards, a little more realistic now. And I just threw it in my pocket again. You could pocket carry this. It's a little heavy for some people, uh, probably, but I, I could pocket carry it. Um, I'm just amazed how well it handles, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Hold the top high. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, guys, keep your distance, please. Back up! Hey, guys. Uh, what's up, guys? Hey, hey, back off, dude. I'm on All right, guys, I think this is my last run. I'll wrap up my thoughts on the Ruger SP-101. Last run with th hot Fioki 357s, three and then two. Maybe recoil-wise or flash-wise, we might be able to tell a difference. I'm amazed at these grips, and uh, here we go.
Finishing up my thoughts on the Ruger SP-101. Honestly, I wasn't a fan in the past. Working with it today, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, first rule of gunfighting is always, always, always carry a gun. I usually carry bigger guns. Even if I carry a revolver, my primary is a seven shot, the backup might be a five shot, something like that. So there is a limited ammo capacity. That is an issue. But if it's between carrying and not carrying, carry. That's the first rule of self-defense and gunfighting. So um, overall, I'm, I'm actually impressed with it. Obviously, over time, the Ruger triggers um, clean up. They're built like tanks. They'll last forever. I would change the front sight on this. I might clean up the trigger originally or put like that carbo kit in it or some, some, something else, a wolf spring kit, something like that. Uh, but guys, uh, I'm amazed at how little recoil that this this is with these grips. Coming in at number two is the Taurus 692 multi-caliber revolver. 357, 38, and 9 millimeters. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for all you old school cats out there, as well as all you young guys that want to be a little bit hip, cool, and different, a little bit more manly, but yet still stay practical. Boy, do I got something for you. I got something for you. Could this be the best ever carry training and SHTF revolver there is. Look at my beautiful Taurus 692. Then I change this out to this beautiful rosewood fingered and checkered um, grip that Ultimat sent me. So the Ultimat grips for the, the tracker frame, kind of the bigger 44 Magnums and stuff, uh, for the Taurus judges, that's what fit on here. It took a little bit of finagling, but it seems to work great. And boy, is it comfortable. And now, what a beauty this gun is. I wasn't sure how much I would like the porting. You'll see in the video what a difference it makes. Seven shot cylinder. Look at my, is it viable? Is a seven shot 357 Magnum viable? Well, I'm much happier with seven shot 357 Magnum than five shot 38. Dual caliber, triple caliber. Maybe even more. Now, this is only a 35 ounce revolver. It should have very, very little recoil, even with full power magnum loads, because it's ported and that is going to give you at least 20% reduction in muzzle flip and perceived recoil. Um, the trigger, I'm pretty happy with for a defensive trigger. It has a very strong trigger return spring. And if it throws my shots at all, it's probably going to be like in half inch, inch high in just defensive grab the gun. Oh my God, I'm in a gunfight and shooting really fast. The single action, it's, it takes a considerable pull. It's not exactly light, but you know, even for hunting, I think I'd be tracking a deer and be able to do that. So pull out on the crane and it comes off that simple. Oh, time for some nine millimeter. I would much rather shoot 9mm, which is more powerful than 38 and way cheaper. Oh, 15 though, you're trying to make a headshot. I may stack that double action. And then if it's 25 yards, I'm going to go single action. 9mm. Comes with five stellar moon clips. I already cheated, loaded some up. These drop right in and eject fine. Let's do a cylinder swap again before I run out of data on my camera. What's also great about this is if you have looked at my is a seven shot 357 Magnum, a viable CCW choice. I have another revolver, which guess what? My HK seven shot speed loaders work perfectly. I'm 35 grain critical duty, two of those. Back off, guys. I don't trouble. Hup. Six nine two has been perfect. Not a single hitch with any kind of ammo. One fifteen, one twenty four, one twenty five Magnum. 158, 38, I shot a couple. I shot 158, really hot stuff. Kiyoki, 158 training magnums. Uh, Arms Corps, I shot uh, 
135 grand critical duty, a couple of them. I shot, uh, you know, it was, it's been great. It's been great. So, the Taurus 692 multi caliber, two thumbs up, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Subscribe and let me know in the comments what you thought of all this and what your choices for revolver carry are. I hope you enjoyed it. And coming in at number one is the Ruger GP100 seven shot, three inch. Celebrating the 85th anniversary upcoming of the 357 Magnum, as well as the 35th anniversary of the Ruger GP100. I've been reviewing this Talo Special Edition 3-inch 7-shot 357 Magnum Ruger GP100. This comes with these beautiful grips. They fit my hand perfectly. I believe they're Ultima grips. The 3-inch ballistics and 7-shot capability means that this is a very viable CCW option in my opinion. It's fun. It's cool. It could be your barbecue gun or your occasional open carry gun. And um, shooting a revolver is going to make you a better shooter altogether because you get used to that double action trigger pull without destabilizing the sight. So you pull through. That'll make you a better shooter overall. And um, I like the unfluted cylinder that this comes with. So this is kind of a rare package to get not only seven shot instead of the two and a half inch barrel, but the more ideal carry in my opinion and ballistics much better from a three inch barrel. Three inch to two inch is a huge difference. Two and a half to three inch is also a difference. Rugers also shoot faster almost always than Smith & Wesson barrels, especially the older ones. Um, so this could be the gun that is a viable CCW choice. Now, in my opinion, no matter what, pistol you carry. I have always been taught from my teachers, Detroit cops and inner city cops, Chicago and studying NYPD cops, Jim Cirillo, etc. to always carry a backup. There's the three lockup points. If I didn't cover this already here and here are typical, but this has a lockup point at the front of the crane that makes it extremely strong and solid lockup. All right. So the three inch will give you the ballistics that you need in your CCW needs to keep the scumbags away. That loud flash and bang will get them scattering like cockroaches. The Ruger GP100 will hold up over time. Everyone likes a Glock because it's reliable and holds up over time. The GP100 is that in the revolver world. If you see the footage here, I think you'll see that this seven shots makes a viable option as long as you carry speed loaders or speed strips with you. And better yet, in my opinion, you also have a New York Reload. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Please thumbs up, please share, or please subscribe. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I hope you've enjoyed this Talo Special Edition Ruger GP100 video. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you on the flip side. <clears throat>